Welcome back to Tech Mimic, where you can simply view, imitate, replicate, and get on with your day. This quick video will show you how to switch our virtual machine in the virtual box from BIOS mode, also known as a legacy BIOS, to UEFI mode, or the other way around. I won't dive into the technical differences between BIOS and UEFI. I'm assuming you already know why you need to make this change, and that the operating system in your VM supports UEFI. So let's get straight to the point. I will demonstrate this using the latest version of Oracle VirtualBox on Windows, which at the time of recording is version 7.1.6, and also on an older but still relevant version on Linux, version 7.0.18. Both are still on version 7. There are differences between both interfaces, and I suppose this is just a matter of personal preference, so let me show you both. When creating a new virtual machine, there is a setting during the hardware configuration phase called Enable EFI Special Operating Systems Only, and it is unchecked by default, meaning that the VM will use legacy BIOS mode unless you manually enable it. To check or change this setting on an existing VM, open the VM's settings. If you are using the Windows version, make sure to switch to Expert mode so that all options are visible. Under Extended Features, you will find the Enable EFI checkbox. Enabling this will switch the VM to UEFI mode, and once selected, you will also be able to enable Secure Boot if needed. Here is how it looks on the older interface on Linux. Go to Settings, System, and you will see the Extended Features section right away, and in this case, the VM is currently in Legacy BIOS mode, as the EFI option is not selected. In the case of FreeBSD, and this will be reflected differently per operating system, you can tell which mode is active by simply looking at the startup screen. If it's all text or character based, you are in BIOS mode. After shutting down the VM and enabling UEFI, the startup screen will use more modern graphics, indicating that UEFI mode is now active. Of course, FreeBSD is just one example. This applies to other operating systems too, like Linux Mint, as long as they support UEFI. Keep in mind, not all operating systems handle this change well on the fly. Some may require you to choose UEFI or BIOS mode before the installation, and some will allow the change through post-configuration steps. So whenever you can, it is simply easiest to set it correctly from the start if you are planning a fresh install. That's it. Hope it helped. And if it did, please like the video and keep it up. Until next time, bye.